It's a simple theory really. The more you fish an area, the more you understand it and the more fish you'll catch. And I can guarantee you, you'll soon start to appreciate what better quality gear can do for you. When you're fishing a new area, nothing beats local knowledge. That's why it pays to hook up with a local. How you going, Wayne? G'day, Gary. Good on you, mate. Welcome to the Gold Coast. Thank you. I've hooked up with Gold Coast local Wayne Young. Like me, he has a soft spot for a bit of late afternoon whiting fishing in and around the Broadwater. And we go, boom, and there we go, we're on. That was easy? Yeah, mate. Oh, he just dropped it, but... Oh, oh. It always happens like that, doesn't it? Yeah, mate. My turn. Well done, Gary. Nice fish. This, this must be your secret spot. We've been here two minutes. <laughs> You've got one, dropped one, and then straight after I've... Uh, hooked onto something. Mate, that's the beauty of the Gold Coast. Every every 50 metres is a secret spot. Oh, mate, if the sinker comes out the water, you can almost bet your life it's a brim. The whiting will stay very deep when you're bringing them to the boat. So with these smaller fish, because <coughs> they're only using small hooks, rather than try and rip that hook out, we'll do the fish more harm than good. Just snip that off, put him straight back. Wayne moved here for the fishing 15 years ago, works for the local Labrador BCF store and writes about his fishing adventures in Bush and Beach magazine. Feels a bit better, does it? Yeah, mate, yeah. And it's the desired species. Oh, a nice one too. He's a good fish, Nice mate. fish. He is, mate. a good way to start. Yeah. Very nice fish, mate. Typical of our, of our Gold Coast whiting down here. I wouldn't class him quite as an elbow slapper, but... Very you wouldn't nice. be upset if you went home and only caught a couple of them, would you? <laughs> Half a dozen of them, mate, is the best meal you can get your hands on, Gary. Wayne's got a few simple tips for catching whiting. Use live, fresh bloodworms because they stay on the hook longer than a yabby or a soldier crab. Use a soft rod and wait for the fish to swallow the bait. Don't try and set the hook while it's still nibbling. This could be the one we've been looking for. Could be here, mate. Gary, oh, yeah, he's, he's a, a nice he's fish. He's a big fish, mate. He's yours, Yay, Gary. Real beauty. <laughs> well done, mate. That's another baby Gold Coast whiting, Gary. <laughs> Wait till we get a big one, mate, eh? No, that is a good fish. Yeah, mate. That one's getting closer to the 40 mark. Hey, I said local knowledge plays a big difference and you've you've come good. Yeah, mate. So you take home a fish like that and that's why your wife lets you go fishing. I'll feed the family off that one. That's, yeah, that's exactly right, Gary. There's nothing better. We all enjoy our fishing, but if you can take half a dozen home for a feed of those, then, yeah. yeah, you'll get let out again tomorrow, mate. No, that was good fun. Wayne's selection from his BCF store is a whippy 10-foot-6 4-app rod with an LV side cast, 6-pound line with 6-pound fluorocarbon leader and a 2-metre trace. It's a very relaxing form of fishing, isn't it? Just sitting there, lovely and cool. beautiful on the water. Got a couple of good fish in the esky. Yeah, it certainly is, Gary. It's a lovely way to spend the afternoon. And, you know, if we wanted to stay into the evening, the fishing would only get better and the fish would get bigger. Oh, oh big wide. Oh, it's huge, mate. You see that? It is huge. This one is the one we've been looking for, Gary. Just let him tire himself out, mate. That was absolutely horse material, see it. mate. It's yeah. Just there. Yeah. On a bit of a show now. Oh, mate. Oh, yeah. look at the size of it. Oh, oh. way to go, Gary. <laughs> the old gremlins are pumping. As soon as you said that, I started. Oh, I lip hooked him too. Yeah. Look that, at that. That's, that's, that's a, a thumper. That's a cracker, mate. Oh, <laughs> that's well, the best whiting I've caught for a few years. Well done, mate. If you had to put your lippy on, I'd give you a kiss now. <laughs> <laughs> That is beautiful. My heart's thumping. <laughs> yeah, mate, they're a great fish, and when you see them in the water... When his head come up and it looked all grey, didn't it? It had yep. that greyish colour to it, but, you know, we've got that grey colour in the sky too. That is. That's a cracker of a fish, mate. We'll have to get the official measuring stick out for that one. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> for your Surefire whiting gear setup, get into your nearest BCF store. Make sure you pop into Labrador store to catch up with Wayne. While he may not tell you his secret spots, he'll certainly point you in the right direction when it comes to bringing home a feed of prize whiting. Look at that, not too many times you see the esky lid covered with only four whiting. But that's not the best part. Have a look down here as well, I haven't even got room on the, the lid for the rest of them, so not bad for a couple of hours fishing, Wayne. That's exactly and like right. like they say, yeah. a local 
He's got the uh, the spots all wired out. And we're lucky enough that Wayne shared a few of his better ones with us. Enjoy, Gary. They're lovely fish, yeah. mate. Beautiful.